Listen up, maggots. It's time for another Toy Picks posing video. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the worst Sergeant Slaughter impression you'll ever hear. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm Photo Dave. This is Toy Picks. And in this video, we're going to be doing some posing featuring. Sergeant Slaughter from the G.I. Joe Classified line, and the reason I chose the Sarge is because I know a lot of classified people watch the channel, which probably means they've got this guy, and he comes with tons of hands, and tons of hands just make photos so much better. And I know that not everybody is into a lot of hands, but the reason I love this figure so much is because he has all those hands, and I can't wait until G.I. Joe Classified gets to that point where they're starting to just find some way to get us a lot more hands. Please, please let that happen, because I really do dig these figures. Anyway, as always, I'll be sure to leave product links in the video description below for this guy. Those are affiliate links, so if you buy anything after clicking those links on those sites, I get a cut, and I appreciate it. That's right! If you click on the Amazon link and you grab toilet paper, I get a cut. But you keep all the paper. So, with all that said, let's get to posing this bad boy, shall we? Alright, let's start with a good old-fashioned just pointing. I'm going to show you this one, kind of do a bit of a 360 here, so you can see how it was done. There's nothing too complicated about this one. You're really using the joint, the butterfly joint going on here, obviously the shoulder joint. You don't want a fully straight arm. That's not going to get it done. You just want pointing nice. And I'll show you a little bit of this. Remember, this is a little more exaggerated than it needs to be. But when you're doing a pose where you kind of have your hand at your hips like this, your elbows don't go straight out from your or from your sides or the sergeant's sides here. They go back a little bit. Now this goes back a little further than it needs to, but I figured I'd point that out and we'll get into that pose after this one. But there's not much you have to do with the legs. It's more just what you're doing with the arms. Oops. And not a whole lot even with the head. You're just kind of turning it, but there it is. That's just the sarge pointing at you and giving you crap and calling you a maggot. Okay, for this next one, let's do hands at hips. Kind of like what's going on on the side here. Just take this, pull out the hand, which should be much easier than I'm making it look. I'm telling you guys, if you've never tried to do this kind of stuff on camera, ooh, it is much trickier than you would think it would be. There we go. Okay, now I'll put the other fist in. Maybe for the next poses I won't show how to do the hands. Or, you know, you know how to do the hands if you have Sarge, but... Wow. Oh, come on. Or, maybe I'll just fast forward through this. Okay, there we go. We got Sarge. All good to go. Now, we can see here for a little bit of hands and hips action. Like I said, we don't need the elbow as exaggerated as it was earlier in that earlier shot. This is about right. There's a little bit of shoulder movement. You're twisting the bicep a little bit. We're getting close. We want to perfect it though. Come on in. The water's fine. So there he is, hands at hips. I didn't really do anything there, except just kind of adjusted the elbow so it wasn't sticking quite as far back on that side, and then just pretty much copied what was going on over there. There, so now you got the Sarge just standing there like, uh, Sarge doesn't look happy. We should uh, probably do whatever he says we need to do. All right, now I'm going to show you Sarge winding back for a punch. Now, there was a book written years ago called How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. 
It was written by Stan Lee and illustrated by John Buscema. Buscema? I have never quite knew how to pronounce that last name, so if you know, please let me know in the comments. But the idea there, one thing they talked about was the least impactful part of a punch in terms of drawing is the actual punch itself. Whereas in real life, that's obviously the most impactful part. But what they said was winding up and the aftermath. Those are things that in illustration make a real big impact. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna wind up Sarge a little bit. Now you turn at the waist. You bring this arm back as much as you can with this ball joint. And you really crank this, you get this arm so it's folded up a little more because when you're winding up for a punch you really kind of get that thing going you get that you get that so that's a pretty small angle so you've got that bring it a little more up like this continue that twist and lean it back a little bit too at the waist and now one thing that i did one thing that i always enjoy for a little more dramatic effect is the front hand using kind of being open a little bit Oops, sorry about that but the front hand being open it's just good for a slight dramatic effect there obviously sarge is going to be looking to where he's punching and if you can get that chin down a little bit but it can be a trick now this is with this flopping around i think this could be interesting it's going to end up kind of back there a little bit, the whistle. We still want to turn his head a little more. There we go. All right, so Sarge is winding up for the punch. You've got, because his leg, or because his torso is twisted that way, this part, this leg, will be out ever so slightly. It doesn't need to be tons, but it does need to be out just a little bit, because that's kind of where the where the force, the force is getting exerted from the legs, and because the torso is twisted that way, this leg is the one that comes out. If it's twisted the other way, this leg pops out. So that is Sarge kind of winding up for a punch. Let's go up a little more on that. There we go. And that's what it looks like. When I'm all set with it. So yeah, there you go. That's the wind up. Now, next, I'll show you the aftermath. All right, to get to the aftermath, we're gonna turn him just like he really punched, just like this. Getting this arm now up front as much as we can. Can be tricky. And then this arm's just back here. He just came through, went with a big punch. He's again looking to where whatever it is that he just hit, whatever it is he just knocked out. And you wanna twist his neck a little more. That's just gonna add a little bit of that action. And this arm can come out this way, can come back up. So it's got that going on. And there's the punch. This, because his body moved like boom during that, we're gonna kick this back here even kick the whistle and because now his body is twisted to that side we make this adjustment with this leg and this leg is back now so there is more of an aftermath of the punch let's go a little more forward there because Sarge is a big dude chances are he was punching down a little bit Okay, get the whistle back there. So there it is. Probably want to try and tilt there. There we go. Tilt his head a little more. Maybe bring his arm up. It's just kind of playing to try and make it happen. But there's the swing. The aftermath of the punch. If I were setting up a photo, I would probably have the guy that he just punched. His head would be right in this area here. So you saw that he just got punched because Sarge's arm would be out that way. 
So there's that. There's how his legs ended up being. This leg, again, is the one that's forward because his body's twisting this way. And there's the other arm. All right. Now next, I'm going to show you Sarge running. Now, I switched out the backhand for a fist. If he had flatter hands, I might use those, but fists are fine for running. So, it's kind of the same idea with the leg forward and everything else. We're going to have him like this, maybe. We'll have him running in from this side. So, because his body is like this, we twist at the waist again. And that's why I love a ball jointed waist, is just there's so much more you can do with that. So, we've got him forward like this. And now this leg, because it's twisting that way, we'll go forward. This leg to add drama. Now this isn't usually how a person would actually run, but kick this leg back quite a ways, get this foot going back like that. It just adds a little more drama to everything. And now, because this leg is forward, this arm comes forward. So the other arm goes back as much as we can. Try and get that going. That might end up going a little higher just to add a little more drama. We want the elbow high. And now twist at the bicep again. Use that butterfly joint. And generally when we're running, we want the head kind of lined up with the front leg so we can see that the head's not quite there. Now that's more like it. Twist this a bit, just a little. Don't need to go too crazy. The whistle, I mean, <laughs> no offense, Sarge is a big guy. He's probably not setting any track records. So the whistle doesn't need to be kind of back here. It can be, but it doesn't need to be. It's not totally necessary. But there's the man running. Again, most of the movement I'm getting right now is from that ball joint at the waist. Now we can twist the elbow or twist at the bicep to give it a little more drama in the pose. And like I said earlier, let's go a little higher with the elbow back here. And now we've got Sarge running. Now, as far as what we do with his foot, we can twist his foot a little bit. Maybe get him to do the whole posing. My Sarge, he's, he's cool. I really like him, but he's got a slightly loose ankle. So I'm trying to do this, but it might not be... He might not stay too easily. Come on, Sarge. Ooh, I'm telling you, I'm going to get this now. Because now it's just a challenge. Now... The run. Jay Hernandez has the walk. I'm going to have the run. Maybe not. Oh, Sarge, you're killing me. Anyway, you kind of get the idea. But because I'm stubborn, we're going to do that one more time. There you go. We've got Sarge running. And I did have to mess with the foot just a little. Just a touch. Just to get the balance going. We got him at that angle. And we kind of just look around to see where we think the best shot of him running would come from right now. I think photographically, this is more interesting than the other side. But probably most interesting is more this. To me, anyway. But that kind of just depends on what you're going for. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Sarge running, and that concludes what I figure I'll show off for this posing video. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was today's video on posing the good Sergeant Slaughter. I really do dig this figure. Now, comment below and let me know, is this the kind of video you dig as well? Because truly, for me, I have my most fun recording videos, I think, when I'm trying to help people understand how to do things with their figures, how to light their figures, how to set up shots and all that, so that they can get much better photos 
when they're out there playing with their stuff because, well, photos is kind of why I collect this stuff. So just let me know if that works for you. And with that, as always, thanks a ton for watching. I know that it's your time that you're spending to watch this stuff, and I certainly appreciate it. So with all that said, and until next time, have fun and happy snapping. See ya. Thank you.